Hi, this is Nolan Haynes from Nolan Haynes Creative, and today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite image editing techniques, the kind of thing you can do all within PowerPoint, no Photoshop necessary. This is stretching an image without distortion. Very often you'll have an image like this one that you want to be full screen, but the image itself just doesn't allow for it. Uh, or you might have, uh, have used an image like this one in a 4.3 slide presentation in which, in this case, this image would fill the screen, but when you bring it over to 16.9, you kind of wish that the photographer had zoomed out a little bit more and there was more of that desk over on the left-hand side to be seen. Now, there are a few things you can do. You can take the image and, and try to stretch it all the way across, but if you do that more than five, you know, sometimes even 10%, you're going to start noticing it. And in this case, he looks bloated and, and very odd, and, and we wouldn't want to do that. You could also uh, try this. You could try cropping in to change the aspect ratio on this. We could sort of crop in from the bottom and then uh, expand this out to the slide. But you know, now we're cutting off a lot of the content, and we, we wanted to see all of him. So uh, we could also go to Photoshop and fix and, and stretch this image without affecting him. But even though I have Photoshop up all the time and I could do that, it takes a long time to export it and then fix it and then export it again and re-import it into PowerPoint. You can do the exact same thing all within PowerPoint. Here's how. You'll take the image, you're going to copy and paste it right on top. So it's essentially a duplicate image sitting right on top of the original. Now we're going to go to the crop tool and we're going to crop in to just be on the content that we don't want touched. So we don't want him distorted at all. And I also don't want uh, his chair there to be touched either. So now I've created this sliver, this duplicate sliver of an image right on top of the original. And now I can take just that sliver and you can see the original underneath there and stretch that all the way over to the edge of the slide. And if you saw this from from scratch, just having walked into this, you would think nothing was wrong with this photo. Even though there's a laptop and a desk there that are technically getting stretched, it doesn't look like it because it's blurry, it's in the background, and that really helps us. And the other cool thing is now he is really in this rule of thirds where he's taking up just one third of the slide and empty space is taking up two thirds, which will allow us to take our content and plop it over that two thirds of an area. Uh, giving us a, a really great uh, full bleed image slide here. There are other ways we could do this. Like, let's say we didn't want to bring, leave him over to the side. We actually wanted him to be right in the center. We could take just this tiny sliver over here, and I've already made this uh, duplicate sliver uh, on top. You could take just that bit of the wall, even less of it, even just a few pixels, really, and stretch it out, and now it looks like that's what the original photographer shot. You would never have any idea that this was uh, this part of the wall had been stretched. And if you really want to, you can uh, group these and, and even uh, copy and paste them as a new image. But honestly, I don't even do that. I, I leave it all uh, as is because non-destructiveness. If I ever want to go back, I can just delete uh, what I just did. So that is... Stretching an image without distortion, and I'm Nolan from Nolan Hames Creative. Subscribe uh, to this YouTube channel, uh, listen to the presentation podcast, check out the blog at presentyourstory.com, and check back in here for the next uh, hack, tip, or trick on PowerPoint and presentation. Thanks for watching.